Hello my friend, my name is Jose Cruz and welcome to my channel. Today I will show an integration that I did between one app that I created using .NET MAUI and one identity server. So you can probably, you already probably noticed that I have been posting some videos related with .NET MAUI in the channel, having fun with that. But today I can also bring some backend service to use as an example for the integration. Okay, so let's go to the video. Salve. So before the app part and code in .NET MAUI, let's have an overview on the identity server. This video is not focused on the identity server, but you know me, I like to have this overview. But keep it in your mind that this code is not even close to production code, okay? We have many steps here before I go to production, we have many configurations, better name, also some secrets that should be hidden. So keep it in your mind this is a samples that you can use for exercise and also to understand the logic behind the identity server okay with that let me show what we have here so we have here the identity server um, we have all configurations that we have for this exercise today here inside of this configuration where i have my scope and also my identity and the principal here the clients that can be used to access the applications okay so I have one client for the console application test that I created here. You can use that to have some fun. Also the web one and the last one, but uh, also important, our client.net MAUI app, okay? So what we have here is a client ID, the client ID used for the authentication between the app and the identity server, the secrets that should be hidden in the future. Also, the hit directive what I allow its scopes use it to communicate between other APIs. Okay, what is the other API? I have another different service here, a simple, simple one called Maui Maui Backend. I, yes, I like it, this name. And here in the Maui Maui Backend API, I have a program that I added the authentication saying, hey, um, you need to add this authentication. The authority will be my application identity server. Um, I say to not validate the issue and also the audience, just because, as I say, it's not a production code. Also, the policy and the required claims here, okay? The API 1, that's the claim that I requested here on the configurations, okay? This here. So, okay, with this, configura with this configuration in mind, let's go to the .NET MAUI part. So, here for the MAUI part, we have an application called MAUI MAUI Client. And inside of this application, I did some customization for the Android part, especially related to certifications and also the callback. But let's see the application running first. All right. So let's debug it. And done. that's a good application. But remember that this application has a login part with the backend. So we need also to set the services running. So let's execute the service in the background. First, we start my identity service and also my API. Okay, cool, it's running, perfect. Let's go back to the MAUI and let's let's keep this on always on top, okay? What what this configuration does, um, it makes the application always on top, even if I change here. The application behind it, it keep always the emulator on top of your view. That's why my camera is also on the left. So let's execute the application, right? Let's click on enter. Is a Portuguese word for login. Let's type my email here, jose at gmail.com. And um, jose is the password. Enter, and then you can see that I have the token here. This is the token, but uh, you don't need and you don't want to show your token to users, right? But here we have a new page that's a call it a senior canal. It means subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, it helps a lot. Also, I have the token described here. I send from one page to another. And here I have one call API. What this call API mean, means, it will call my that other API that I request the token claims that you can see here, the list of them, and done. But to access this API, I need to be authenticated on the identity server. You can check the code below, it's really, really fun. The tricks and the things that I had to do here. So let's have a look into the code, right? If I type in Sair, if I click in Sair, that means logout. I'll click on logout, yes. And if I close this, it means okay, success, su success, and done. We have we are on the login page again. So let's stop it and let me show you what's happening here in the background. Let me also unmark that. 
So the first thing that I have here, let me show you the Nougat package that I added in the project. You can see here that I have some Microsoft Toolkit and VVM. I have a view about that. Also the identity model, model I, I, oh, IDC client to integrate with our backend seamlessly, seamlessly. So first class that I want to show you is the Maui program where we added the singleton. I added most of the class here singleton, but you can add a singleton transient and scope it based on your requirements. Okay. But the important one that I want to show you here is the OEDC client options is where I use as reference for the authentication. Okay. Here I have the authority. This one is used for not using localhost because I'm using Android here, but if you are planning to use Android and iOS, you need to separate the hosts. Okay. The client ID will be the same as we define it on the identity server. The scopes here, there is a list here. We can just separate it by space. Redirect URL, client secret should be the same. You don't need to cryptograph that here. The factory, this one is really important. If you are using a uh, not trust certification, I can show you why I'm calling this function here and a browser that uh, is the same configuration for the callbacks here. With that, we have also this method here that you, why you had to have a custom HTTP client. So here on the Android part, I have this custom message handler that's different from Android for Android and for iOS and the other things. So that's why I have a custom here, but in the end, I'm just doing a bypass for the certificate. Okay. That's why we have this insecure HTTP client here. Okay, done. Basically that adding the authentication. Then let's go to the fun part that is the auth view mode. Okay, here I have my login async class that I'm using verifying if it's busy to not click many times on the button. Also, if you have network, but it is important that I'm using that client, okay, OEDBC client to have the authentication part with the backend. So if you see here, I have my client login, send a new request. If it's ever, I will just return that, but if it's okay, or if it throw an exception, I will show the exception on the screen. Remember that's not a production code. Please log it, everything that's happening here. And now, so if okay, I, I am redirecting this user, this specific um, page to the other one, sending the token, the token to the next um, view page. But we have another way to do that. That's setting the current main page as a main page. I did it like that. I prefer to send the, the current page to the next one, but on this way, we need to cancel the back button on that page. So you choose the Fox here is just the authentication part. Okay. You can set it here, main page and handle all the dependency injections that we have that were on my main page, right? It's already here. If you, the user is logged, okay, if it's everything okay, we go to the next page, that's my main page, really simple page, where I have an image, a label, and also a button here to call the API, and also a logout button. So what's happening here on my view model is that, on my view model, I have the same client for the logout part, and also one HTTP client where I set here. Let me show the HTTP client first. When I said here, just go to that API with my token. Okay. That's why I'm, I sent my token here. Go to that API required the endpoint that I use it. If it's okay, just show the claims that I have and done. If not, show me there what happens if you throw an exception. And for the logout button, I have it here. It's just the OEDC client dot logout and done. Really, really simple. Let's see it work again, right? You, you already saw the flow. Let's see it again, just for fun. So if I click on enter in login again, jose at gmail.com and my password, you see that I have the token that I described here. When I close it, I go to the next page. I sent the token here. I have subscribe. I don't need to repeat again. It helps a lot. Don't forget that. Here I have the token that I will use to send the call to the other API. So let's call that API. That API returns me, returns to me the token claims that I have for this token. And if I click on Sair, that means logout. It will open a web page where I will click on yes. 
and done i'm not logging an application anymore i go to the login page okay so i hope you liked the video i tried my best to have this video quick because the funniest part is on the code that is in the description click there it's on the github you can find me also on twitter and don't forget to subscribe thank you